We were talking about like what is digital media literacy exactly? Because like right. we talk We've about, been this, about a lot. this all the time, yeah. and I think what it really is is not so much being proficient in scripting and filming and editing. It's just the self awareness to know what you're good at and what you're not mm -hmm. good at, and um, just the appreciation for what goes into things and mm -hmm. and the knowledge of who to tap into to help you create a project or help you communicate something. Yeah. Cause, Cause, oh yeah, yeah, go ahead. Oh, I just have a question because I'm not plugged into the MIT community or the or the the or, or even into the scientific community for that matter. But is there a culture of sort of um, individuality where wherein the this notion that basically what I my my intellectual work is to be done sort of in a silo versus the kind of like I don't I know I'm not good at this so I need to build a team where we can build you know at MIT it's I mean it's pretty interdisciplinary yeah what I would say yeah. is is uh not siloed but it is there there's an ingrained culture of is this idea that like uh uh real science <laughs> see I'm, I'm doing it now by saying real science uh that science and engineering is work and communication is not work Oh, I see. That's, or even that it's yeah. a separate thing. Yeah. 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 Right. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. That's a pretty good way. So that's the that's the you know yeah. it's not that people are like siloed within themselves. Uh -huh. It's that that you know um, communicators don't have street cred with scientists. I see. Period. I see. Well, and that that part will just happen. It will take care of itself. I'm not going to worry about it too much. I see. Yeah. yeah. So that's the real. That sounds like the real meat of what you guys are trying to work on, in a way, like. Yeah, I guess. I guess. Yeah. I mean, it's it's interesting because like I gave a, a survey to the students at the end of the class, and they were all like, "I probably wouldn't make another video again." A couple of them said they would, but yeah. most of them were like, "I probably you know won't make a video, but like I have so much more appreciation for what goes into it, and like now oh. I can't watch a movie without thinking about how <laughs> much you know how much work it took to just light the scene." Mm -hmm. um, so just even just having the appreciation for what goes yeah. into it, I think, yeah. is a big step. But again, with the whole literacy thing, just the awareness of how important these um, these skills are. Because, like you said, I mean, it's just crazy that we think of them as separate things. That mm -hmm. like there's science and then there's communication, um, mm -hmm. and you're trained separately on these things if you happen to be a science communicator. Yeah. Mm -hmm. One of the things that I think is really interesting about media is that. You know, video or media films, they're, they're really interesting in that they're so, when they're well made, they're so accessible. Mm -hmm. They're so immediately graspable by those of us, anyone in the last hundred years who's really, you know, literate at unpacking video and understanding the medium. They're, they're so kind of intuitively open that people who don't have any appreciation or awareness of how they're made assume that there isn't any kind of effort behind them that they just kind of happened. And I can remember, you know, as a kid kind of thinking that, you know, never really yeah. thinking about movies and how they were made until I was probably God in college. Yeah. Uh, just kind of assuming that they just kind of happened out there. Sometime. Our clients think you just hit a button. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, no, exactly. Because and that's because if, if yeah. things are well made, it's like God, like didn't that just effortless. didn't that just always yeah. exist that way? Yeah. Yeah, you right. mean somebody actually had to create that? I, it yeah. seems so natural. Right, right. And, and I think that yeah. one of the things, you know, a key of media literacy is understand, you know, kind of breaking that myth. Right, or gasp, it would cost mm -hmm. money to, to, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. you know, to hire yeah. people. Take time. Yeah. And you would have yeah. to train, you'd you have to hire professionals yeah. to do it that yeah. are trained and yeah. Yeah. pay them. And, so yeah. the biggest thing in teaching this literacy, though, I think, is making them go through the experience themselves. Yeah, right, because it's one thing if you watch like a series of lectures. Like it's one thing if you watch this on open courseware and you you can take the notes on like this is good framing if you use the two, the thirds rule like um, you know write a script like you would say like we go through all these sort of tangible take home points these like plastic elements like you mentioned. But I don't think you'll have the same you won't draw the same um, value from it as if you actually go through and try to do the projects that these students did. And that's a big issue, I think, especially in, in media teaching, um, that it's easy to first establish uh, sort of theoretical principles, like this is sort of what makes a good story. And then, and then it's another thing to actually give hard, ex like 
tangible examples to students, like look at this script. They're, they were able to um, point out issues in the scripts, they were able to critique them, but then it's a whole nother step for them to be able to integrate it themselves into a script. So you'd have a student who like understood the principle, they took the notes, they could reiterate everything you said to them. They were able to look at the examples you gave them and say, oh, you know, this is unclear here, this, this is awkward wording. And then they would write the script and you'd be like, you know, there's this disconnect to the third step. Um, and it wasn't until they tried it and then we were able to critique them directly that they were able to come to this, you know, final self-awareness conclusion. Mm -hmm.